Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to do a little video on this new 3D printer head I got. My I have a Mendel Max 1.5, which is over there. And uh, I was printing a bunch of stuff and the, the extruder really just took a dump. I don't know what happened. It started, I might, must have gotten clogged started pushing the wire out, uh, pushing the filament out to the side, and I couldn't fix it. Um, maybe I could have melted some stuff out and cleaned it up, but I was used it as an opportunity to get this Micron 3DP all-metal head. I figured my printer would be a lot uh, better off if it had a higher precision head with a little more control. I always had problems with the 3D printed extruder um, and the hobbed nut kind of grinding into the filament and then it would get clogged and I would run, you know, I'd have a print gun for a couple hours and then all of a sudden it would, you know, miss a couple layers and it was a disaster. Um, and when I was researching this um, product, it seemed really good, but I couldn't, I didn't see a lot of videos on it and, you know, I saw a lot of people running the head, but not a lot of explanation about, you know, compatibility or or uh, you know, setting it up or anything like that. So I figured I'd uh, kind of do like an unboxing video, but it's already unboxed. Um, so I got the uh, I got the J Head Hot End Kit, um, and also the J Head compatible all metal. That's like all metal in quotes. Um, uh, feeder extruder, and uh, that ran me. About 320, with uh, two-day international shipping. It came from uh, Tel Aviv. Uh, I guess the company's based out of Israel. Uh, it took about a week to get here uh, with the two-day shipping, probably because customs and stuff like that. But I emailed them for a tracking number, and they they got back to me, and that was that was really nice. So yeah, it was really well packaged. And I mean, the build quality on this thing is, you know, it's not, you know, it's not your your 3D printed doodad out of some garage. This is like some professional stuff here. Um, let's get it to focus. Uh, this looks it's some sort of lathed heat sink here. All this stuff seems to be CNC machined. What's cool is the, it comes with two tips. I think one of these is um, 0.35 millimeters and one is so well, that's the 0 0.035, and the other one is a uh, 0 0.05. So two interchangeable tips, and all you do is undo this clamp here, and this pops right out. So that's good for cleaning. Um, it has a fan to cool off the um, printer head, and uh, comes pre-set with the heater and the temperature sensor, and the fan wires. Um, and then the other guy is the extruder motor. And this plate here, let me grab my other one. I mean, it, re it is the same mounting holes. Let's see if we can see this here. And this just drops right on the existing mounting holes of my Metal Max. I'm probably going to have to angle it a little bit to get this motor to clear when it when it uh, drives all the way over. But, uh, I mean, the answer to the question, can I put this printer head on a Mendel Max 1.5? The answer to that question is yes, with no modifications from the kit that I got. Uh, it was an eBay um, Mendel Max kit. Um, so this this is pretty, uh, pretty serious stuff. It's got this gear motor, little uh, stepper motor here. You can see the the drive gear is like a seriously heavy duty teeth. It's going to push this thing. It's it's not going to stop. And then it has this double adjustable uh, tension, I guess, bearing here. And this whole thing, you unscrew this guy. You know, you don't even need an Allen key, and this this whole thing pops off for cleaning or maintenance or stuff like that. So this this bearing has these two springs behind it, and yeah, it's got some tension behind it that pushes the filament in there. 
The only uh, thing that I'm probably going to have to do, I guess I spoke too soon about the modification, is the way this fan mount. I have to, I might have a little bit of a clearance issue on the bottom of my carriage where this, this, got, this has got a mount in here. And uh, getting this fan mount and the fan to uh, clear the bottom of the carriage might be a little tricky. Uh, I think, I, I haven't played with it too much, but I think it will uh, fit just fine. Also, I mean, this thing is all metal, and it, 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 doesn't, it weighs definitely more than the um, original one. Get some weight on this. So this extruder without the motor, well, I guess that's a bad comparison. Let's just weigh this. So the extruder itself, 14.5 ounces. This thing, 4.6 ounces. So all together, it's a little over a pound of stuff that your carriage is going to be moving around uh, versus, I mean, without the motor, this thing is five ounces. Um, so it's, it's more weight to move around, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem, um, you know, getting good, good speeds. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you have any more questions about it, post it in the comments and I'll try to get to them uh, as soon as they're up. I'm going to try to get this thing set up pretty soon because I got some orders backed up on 3D hubs. Uh, I'll put my 3D hubs link in the description if you guys want to uh, you know, put an order in. And uh, it should be pretty cool. Once I get it up and running, I'll, I'll probably post another video about uh, you know, any of the issues I ran into. But it's a, it's a good product so far from, you know, if, if this works, uh, you know, all set up right, uh, I'm going to be really pleased with it. I think it'll be worth the money. All right, thanks for watching.